Hi, and welcome to this short demonstration of Management Reporter. Management Reporter is replacing FRX Report Designer as the financial reporting tool for use with all the Dynamics ERPs, including Dynamics GP. Without further ado, let's get straight into the demonstration. Management Reporter is a specialised financial reporting solution that allows users to create powerful reports in minutes. This application allows executives, managers and frontline employees to gain access to information when and where they need it. There are three basic building blocks in Management Reporter. Let's take a few minutes to understand what these building blocks are and how they work. The first building block is called a row definition. A row definition defines the descriptive lines, for example, sales or sales returns, on a report. It also lists the account codes or dimensions that contain the values for each of the line items and includes row formatting and calculations. The second building block is called a column definition. A column definition defines the time period to use when extracting data from the financial data source. It also includes column formatting and calculations. The third building block is called a reporting tree definition. A reporting tree definition is similar to an organisational chart. It contains individual reporting units that represent each segment in the chart. These units can either be individually, individual departments from the financial data or higher level units that summarise data from those other financial reporting units. Together, these three building blocks give users the flexibility to define a virtually unlimited number of reports to meet their financial business needs. The report definition process is designed in such a way that the average end user can get access to the critical business information that they need quickly and easily. Another feature built into Management Reporter that simplifies the report creation process is the report wizard. The report wizard gives you the choice between creating one of five different types of financial reports, including a balance sheet, three types of income statements, and a trial balance. To help organise the layout, the report wizard allows users to associate accounts with different sections of the report. The type of report chosen determines the sections from which the user may choose. You can see all the sections that would typically be attributable to a profit and loss, starting with revenue. In order to add accounts, it is simply a matter of clicking on the account that you wish to include in that section. So we've added our revenue account. And now we'll add some income tax expense accounts. The simplicity of the report wizard takes the guesswork out of the report design so that even new users can create complete reports in minutes. The next step in the report wizard lets users modify descriptions and move accounts around to match the way that their company traditionally organises their financial statements. For example, you may want to display revenue as sales instead. You may also want to move some lines around, just a matter of selecting the line and choosing to move it up. Once you are happy with the report layout, just click Next. The report wizard also offers a few more options such as adding shading lines to totals. This window also gives the user an idea of what the report will look like once it's generated. 
Now the report wizard asks the user if they want to create a single report for the entire organisation or whether they want to break things down into multiple reports based on different segments. Once again, Management Reporter pulls the segments from the source system and presents them to the end user, eliminating the guesswork. At this point, a reporting tree definition is created which produces an individual financial statement for each of the segments selected, as well as a consolidated report. Once again, this is eliminating the need for the users to define this separately. The next option that the user is presented with is to name and generate their report. In the last step of the reporting wizard, the user is asked to verify their choices. Once these have been reviewed, the user can then click Finish to generate the report. At this point, Management Reporter Report Wizard calls the Management Reporter engine into action, creating the report, design building blocks, generating the report, and opening it in the Management Reporter viewer. To recap, in just a few easy steps, Management Reporter helps both new and experienced users create on-the-fly reports with confidence. Simplifying report design and generation, the end result is quick, easy and accurate financial report creation. The generated report is then displayed in Management Reporter's report viewer, as now shown. Now let's take a look at the report that has just been generated. This particular report was generated with a reporting tree definition where a unit or branch represents the different responsibility areas of the company. Users, based on their rights and responsibilities, can click on a reporting branch to view their own report. Notice the report presentation quality. High-end formatting capability is one of the features of Management Reporter. The user can review the data at a summary level, and then if they want more information, they can drill down for more detail. Now let's have a quick look at how that is done. We want more information about the sales figure, so users can double click on any of the main account types and drill down into the detail that makes up that row, as shown on the screen. From the summary level, they can drill their way into locations, divisions, departments, account balances, and all the way through to transaction detail that make up the original value. This allows users to answer many of their own questions without being connected to the GL and without depending on finance or IT to answer them for them. This puts the power of, of business intelligence into the hands of those who can actually use it to make decisions. All of these reports are stored in a report library. Now let's go back and take a quick look at that. In the report library, reports can be grouped into folders for easy organisation and navigation, and also security. Security settings can be applied at the folder and at the report level facilitating easy and secure report distribution. Now let's take a quick look at how Management Reporter enables regulatory reporting through XBRL support. XBRL, based on XML, is designed to facilitate the electronic communication of business and financial data. Increasingly, regulatory bodies are requiring organisations to provide their financial reports in XBRL format. Management Reporter takes the complexity out of XBRL by allowing the end user to start with the same building blocks used for core financials and easily tagging them for XBRL reporting. The user only has to go through the tagging exercise once, which will enable them to generate XBRL reports in the future. In summary, 
Management Reporter provides a report design experience that is optimised for the end user. A robust regulatory reporting engine, a streamlined approach to creating powerful financial statements, and presents the information that the business users need when they need it and how they need it. Thank you for watching this short demonstration on Management Reporter. If you would like to know more, please contact your Eclipse account manager and we can organise a presentation for you. Thank you.